Good morning. 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 Uh, just happy to be here this morning. Amen. God, so good. We made it to a new year. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How you doing today? Absolutely. <laughs> and so sometimes, uh, uh, what I'm going to do, I'll give you the topic right now so you can write it down. And then as we move in, you already have it. I'm going to give you some scriptures and we'll be ready to roll. Uh, happy New Year. Happy New Year. That's the topic for today. <laughs> happy New Year. Right. We're going to be in Mark. 2.22, and we will go to the main scripture readings will come from 2 Corinthians 5, verses 15 to 17. Good morning. How y'all doing? Good morning. Good to see you. Happy New Year to you. <laughs> so we're going to open up this morning. What we're going to do, uh, I thank God that we can be here today, the first Good Sunday morning. of the new year. Yeah. We thank God we made it into the new year. Hey. Uh, Sometimes uh, things from the old year plague us yeah. as we're moving into the new year. You know what I mean? It's things we've had the pandemic in 2019, 2020, 21, 22. And, and so to see a new year, you know, some of us, I, I'm going to speak for me anyway, yeah. some of us with all the things that's going on in the world, in the areas where we live, you don't really know day to day. You know, we can take that for granted, but we don't really know. And so to be here today, I consider it a blessing. I consider it, uh, uh, with all the things that's happening, God blessed me today to be here. And I thank him for that. Thank the Lord that we're here. So what we're going to do, we're going to open up the service this morning uh, with a testimony service. What we're going to do, we're going to give you an opportunity. Like I said, we get into the new year. We thank God for being here. Uh, uh, we become inspired, we learn, we grow from the testimonies of us. So the, the service is open now. If you have a testimony you want to share with us, a song, something you want to share with us, the floor is open for you now. Amen. Amen. As good as God has been to me, I cannot help not to praise his name. I'm going to give him the highest praise. As good as God has been to me, I can't afford not to praise his name. As good as God has been to me, I'm going to give him the highest praise. Hallelujah. Be here as well. Amen. Might be moving slow, but I 
Huh? 
Let's pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you on today. Hallelujah. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> yes, yes. If you would, if you would, you would turn with me to 2 Corinthians. We're going to go to the fifth verse, uh, fifth chapter. We're going to start with the 15th through the 17th verse today. We're just going to move with a thought today. Amen. Happy New Year. Amen. Happy New Year. 2 Corinthians 5. We'll start at 15. And we will go through 17. 15 and it reads. And he died for all, that those who live should live no longer for themselves, but for him who died for them and rose again. Therefore, from now on, we regard no one according to the flesh. Even though we have known Christ according to the flesh, yet now we know him thus no longer. Therefore, anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Amen. Lord, we thank you for your word on today. The topic today, <laughs> Happy New Year. The word says, in this passage of scripture, the writer is talking about Jesus. He talks about how he came in the flesh. He talks about how he died for us, all of us, and rose again. He also talks about us, you and me. Any man who is in Christ, he is a new creation. Why? Because all old things have passed away and all things become new. When we give our life to Christ, we have a new life. We have new understanding, we have new affections, new attitudes and new ideas. Even our conversation becomes new. We don't talk about the things we used to talk about. Our thoughts are new. We see things in a different way. We now stand in a different relationship with Christ. We see him differently. We see us in a relationship now with Christ, our Savior, and we understand that better. We are now raised with Christ. In our lives, we have the same house that we lived in when we come to Christ, but we see it a little different now. Our old house, but now we see it as a blessing. We see it as a place God has given us. So we have somewhere to be off the street. Well, our old car. Well, we see it now as a blessing. God has given us something to allow us to be able to transport ourselves from place to place. The old job that we have. I'm talking about when we come into Christ. The old job that we have that we complain about. Mm, yeah. We see it now as a place that God has given us to be able to influence someone in the way of Christ. We're in a place, oh yeah, we're on a job. Sometimes we think we should be making more money. We should be in a different position. But when we give our life to Christ, we're in a different mindset now. We see this as an opportunity. Yes, maybe one day I'll be somewhere else. But today, Lord, I thank you for where I am. I thank you for the ability to be able to meet the needs that I have, the bills I have to pay. Where before, I was complaining about the job. I was complaining about the people that was around. I was complaining about all that, but now that I stand with Christ, and Christ stands in me, I see things different. My ideas are different. My ideas, I think about things differently. I don't think about it like I used to. Well, it's still old stuff, but I got a new mind, and I thank God for that today. Well, Happy New Year. It's what I wish for everyone. I wish you a happy new year. But I have a question. Is it new year 
or is it happy new year? See, because I asked that question because it's a new year. We moved into 2024. It's a new year. But is it a happy new year? And I asked that question because some of us coming out of the old year, we drag some of the stuff from the old year with us. We move some of that old stuff with us into the new year. Well, the same stresses, the same worries, the same things that we were stressing about before we brought it right here to 2024. Well, happy new year, but I ain't so happy. Well, why am I so happy? Because I'm still worried about the things I was worried about in 2023. Yeah. I'm not so happy because the things that were stressing me then, I'm stressing over them now. See, I didn't leave it there. I brought it with me. Happy New Year, but I ain't really that happy. See, see, I wish that for you. I wish you a Happy New Year. I wish you a Happy New Year. I wish you a Happy New Year. But are you really ready for Happy New Year? In order for your year to be happy, we have to, to go into the new, we have to walk out of the old. Think about it. We have to leave the old behind us. The new and the old can occupy the same space. Well, some say yeah, but I'm telling you, see, when our mind changes, yeah, we still got the old house, right? But my mind is different, so it's new. My car is old, but it's new because I'm looking at it with a whole new attitude now. So, happy new year, but I'm not so happy because I'm still stuck in the old. Let it go. Walk into the newness of Christ. We carry that stuff. We drag that stuff. In Mark 22, Mark 2, 22. Let me read that for you. It says, no man put a new wine into an old bottle. Else, the new wine does burst the bottle and the wine is spilled and the bottle will be marked. But the new, new wine must be put in a new bottle. Well, let me explain that to you a little bit. Back in the day, it was old skins. That was the bottle. And what would happen is, when you had an old skin, it would kind of dry up. So when you put the new wine in, the new wine was still moving. It was still firming. It was still doing something. And when you put it in, that old skin that wasn't flexible no more, couldn't move, lost the ability to expand, what would happen is, it would burst. That's right. And your wine, whatever you put in, it would be wasted. Mm -hmm. Well, we're kind of like that sometimes. Going into the new year, we're kind of like the new wine. We're still bubbling, we're still vibing, we're still moving, we're still doing stuff, but ain't no problem right at the beginning, but we drag that old stuff with us. That old unflexible, that old dried up ideas, that old dried up way of thinking, that old skins. That's right. We drag it with us. Those old relationships that ain't going nowhere. We drag that with us. Right. So we kind of like the new wine at the beginning of the year. We're moving into the New Year's resolution. We're excited. We're moving. We're going somewhere. But just like that wine in that bottle, it's moving. It's doing something. So in just a little while, oh, it's going to start blowing up. It's going to start doing something. And them old skin, that old way of thinking, that old mind, we're going to have a problem. Now the new, the happy that we were talking about is now threatened. Well, happy new year, but I, I'm not so happy now because all the new ideas, all the stuff, and the people that are around, oh, they can't think new. Oh, they still telling me about how I messed up before. They still pulling me back here. They, they won't let that go. They holding me to that. Oh, so now they're making me have a problem. I, I'm not happy now. It's not a happy new year now. I'm a little bit sad because you won't let it go. You want to just drag it all with me. Well, I'm here to tell you today. You want a happy new year? Put that stuff down. Come on, man. Let it go. It's, it's okay because God has given us a way. He said when we choose him, we're a new creation. Old things have passed away. Hold on. Old things have passed away. Old things have passed away. Old things have passed away. Hold on. Let me think about that just for a minute. Old things have passed away. Hold on. But that's a choice. Isn't that a choice? You can let the old stuff go. 
Oh, it's, oh, so I choose to take it with me. So do I really want to be happy? That's what I said. Is it a happy new year or just a new year? Well, I'm jeopardizing the happy by dragging that old stuff yeah. with me. That old stuff that I can't let go. All that old stuff that I'm piling up in my garage. All that old stuff that I got shoved in the back of my car. All that old stuff, those old relationships that have been beating me down for a long time. Oh, but I don't want to be by myself. That's what we say sometimes. Uh, a half a man is better than no man. Uh, 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 any kind of relationship is better than me being alone. Man. It's driving me crazy. Happy New Year. But I ain't so happy. Because I choose to bring the old. I try to drag the old into the new. I drag the old with me right into the new. Well, you want to have a new year? Leave the old where it belongs. The Bible lets us know when we are in Christ, we're a new creation. It says new. New. Leave the old alone. I'm not talking about go home and throw everything away. <laughs> All this stuff. Hey, I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about go home and say, he said that old cow, I'm going to go get a new one. Hey, this old car, I'm going to get it. That ain't what I said. <laughs> hey, hey. But I'm trying to tell you, it's a new mind. I'm going into the new year with a new mind. A new mindset. Some of these things that I complain about. I'm going to look at them a little bit different now. I thank God for you in my life. Well, you worry me so much. Well, hold on, man. I think maybe I'm worrying you a little bit too. Maybe I'm going to try to do better. Let's do better. Let's treat each other a little better. Well, some things we choose to take with us and it's holding us back. Well, it takes courage. It takes courage. To leave some things when we're so accustomed to having them with us. Well, the old luggage. You know what I mean? You ain't going to throw it away. You ain't going to use it no more, but you ain't throwing it away because it costs too much. You got all kinds of things going on in your mind in relationships. You hold on because you just don't want to let it go. It takes courage. And so we're going to have to pray. We ask God to give us the strength, the wisdom to recognize. First of all, uh, when we do spring cleaning, mm -hmm. what we do, we throw some stuff out. Yeah. Oh man, we don't we don't put all that old stuff back in the refrigerator when we clean the refrigerator. We get that old stuff, we get it out of there. Mm -hmm. So some of the things, New Year, Happy New Year, evaluate. Let's evaluate where we at. Let's evaluate what goes forward with us. Mm -hmm. Let's evaluate what can go forward with me and has the ability to expand. Mm. That has the ability to think differently. Has the ability to move and be able to do something. Well, if you like that, then you can go with me. Because where I'm going, we're expanding. God is expanding our territory. God is doing something. Well, if you're like that, you can ride with me. But if you lack the ability to expand. You're, you're thinking it's so locked in on what I used to do. You're so locked in on the way I used to act. You're so locked in on the way I used to be that you can't see nothing else. Mm -hmm. It's okay. But you can't go with me. Because I'm not dragging that into my new year. Okay. This for me, I'm in my winning season. I declare I'm in my winning season. Well, and I choose not to take these things, these weights. Mm. I choose not to take them with me. I choose to leave them alone. I love you, but you can't go where I'm going. Hey, I'm going to miss you. Hey, when I see you, I'm going to still say hi. I'm going to still say, hey, how you doing? Hey, but I'm, I'm moving. I'm going somewhere. See, I'm vibing. I still got the ability. God is showing me new things. Every day when I open my eyes, he's showing me something new today. I'm dreaming like I never have before. I can see that he's giving me just a little peek into my future. I'm going somewhere. 
and some things just can't go. Well, you want to have a happy new year? Some things can't go with you. You have to put some of that stuff down. Them old skins. Them old relationships. Well, you're going to have to let them go. Amen? Amen. I got, because this is a new year, and because God is doing something new, something exciting, something great, I want to make sure whenever I stand before you that I give you something that you can take with you. Something that if you don't remember a whole lot about what was said, that I'm going to give you a scripture that you can look back on it and be able to think about what God is saying to you. Forget about me, but hear from the Lord. Turn with me just for a moment to Revelation 3, 20. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and sup with him and he with me. What is that saying? We in a new year, God is saying, Behold, I stand at the door and I knock. Any man that hears my voice. You want something new? You want a happy new year? God's standing at the door. And he's not. He says, if you hear my voice and you let me in, I'll suck with you. What's that, what does that mean? Hold on, what does that mean? That means he's going to come to where you are. Look, look, here's what he's going to do. He, he, he's going to not just pass by you, right? He's going to come and he's going to sit right here with you. And, 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 and while you're talking to him, you tell him what's on your mind. You tell him what's on your heart. He's going to suck with you. He's going to sit with you. Whatever's on your mind. He's going to sit right here with you. Talk to me. Tell me what's going on. He's going to suck with you. He's going to spend time with you and listen to you. He knows the desires of your heart. He knows what's stressing you. He knows what's worrying you. He knows all of it. But he wants you to come to him. Talk to him. Reach out. He's a good father. Behold, God talk. I stand at the door. And he knock. Anybody, anyone, any of us who hears his voice and answers. Huh? Open the door of your heart. Open your mind to come in this submission. The scripture we read today, 2 Corinthians, says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, that's where we're going, right? If any man be in Christ, he's a new creature, a new creation. All the old have passed away. Behold, it all becomes new. You want to have a happy new year? You want to have a happy new year? You want to have a happy new year? It says any man, if you be in Christ. It's a new creature. So today, I make the invitation today of anybody. If you feel like you want to know who he is, you want to get to know Christ, you want to get to know who he is, what it is that he can do in your life, how it is that he can make this a happy year for you, a happy new year for you. We make that opportunity, we give you the opportunity today. I, I'll be glad to pray with you. I'll be glad to show you in scripture what the word says mm -hmm. and how it is that we can give our life to Christ. Really, that's what it's all about. That's really what I'm here to do today is just to let you know that God loves you. Mm -hmm. God loves you. Mm -hmm. And he's there for you. Whatever it is that's on your mind, whatever it is that's on your heart, you want to have a happy new year, give it over to the Lord. He can handle it. Whatever you're going through, it ain't too big for him. Hey, but he's so big that he can take care of what you got. You got all at one time. The question is, what's too big for God? So today, I thank you for the time. I thank you for being here today. 
I, I, I just hope and pray that it's something that I said today that will help you, that you're able to take with you, be able to move forward in what God has called you to be. Somebody asks you, what's new? Well, here's the answer people get. Same old, same old. Well, it's the same old, same old. Well, if that's what it is, the same old, same old. Man, you ain't got a whole lot of enthusiasm. You ain't got a whole lot of energy. It's the same old, same old. Well, today is a new day. Today is a day that I've never seen before. And when this day is going, this is a day I'll never see again. It can't be the same old, same old for me. I see things I've never seen before. I see a brand new day. Yeah. Ain't the same old, same old for me. It can't be. When I wake up, if I wake up tomorrow, it can't be the same old, same old. <laughs> How can it be? It's a brand new day. Get up in the morning and be excited about the newness of the day. We, a new year, but it's a new day. Every day. Be excited about the newness of it. Walk into the newness of Christ. He is new. Every day. So I thank you on today. Let us pray. Dear Lord, I just, Lord, I thank you. I thank you, Lord. Thank you. Showing up yeah. and showing out on today. I thank you for just being in our presence today, Lord. I thank you. I ask now that you would give us the strength, that you would give us the courage to be able to walk into what it is that you called us to do, that we can be able to look over our situation. Lord, be able to things that need to go, things that need to not move forward with us, that we're able to leave those things behind. Lord, and the things that concern us so much, Lord, that we're able to bring them to you. Lord, that we would seek you first, and Lord, we give you all the other things, that you would handle those things for us on our behalf. Lord, I ask you on today that you would just give us a heart that would be drawn to you, that we would be able to draw closer and closer to you, that we're able to, your will be done in our lives. Lord, I thank you that even the old has become new. Even the old, I'm thankful for. Even the things that, Lord, I took for granted. Lord, the things that I overlooked. Lord, the things that I complained about. Lord, I thank you that you give me a new perspective on life. Lord, I ask that you would just go with us. Lord, when we leave here, but Lord, never, never, ever leave in your presence. That you would be with us. That you would keep us safe. That you would watch over, protect us. Lord, that you would keep us safe until we have an opportunity to meet again, be able to stand again and say, Lord, I thank you. Be able to stand again and say, hallelujah, because you deserve our highest praise. Lord, we thank you on today. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.